In a world where diplomatic tensions can escalate into full-blown conflicts, the recent attack on Israel stands as a stark reminder of the ever-present shadow of war. An attack that has not only shaken the geopolitical landscape, but has also cast a cloud of uncertainty over the prospects of lasting peace in the Middle East. It all began on the first day of April, 2024. An Iranian consulate situated in the heart of Damascus, Syria, came under fire. The strike resulted in the untimely demise of seven members of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, including two high-ranking generals. Iran pointed an accusatory finger at Israel, although the latter has neither confirmed nor denied its involvement. The ripple effects of this attack were swift and far-reaching. Four days later, Iran's leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, pledged retaliation. The anticipation of this retaliation led to a palpable tension in the region. By Saturday, Israeli officials found themselves advising residents near Gaza and the Lebanon border to minimize social gatherings and to stay within the vicinity of a shelter. Schools across the nation were closed as the threat of retaliation loomed large, but the climax of this tense narrative came with the recent attack on Israel, a stark testament to the volatile nature of geopolitical conflicts. In this video, we've traced the timeline of events leading up to the recent attack on Israel, starting from the strike on the Iranian consulate to the retaliatory threats and the eventual attack. We've also examined the implications of these events, highlighting their potential to destabilize the region further. In conclusion, the recent events in the Middle East underscore the importance of diplomacy and negotiation in the quest for lasting peace. The attack on Israel is not just a single event, but a link in a chain of retaliatory actions that can spiral into a large-scale conflict if left unchecked. In the face of such a grim reality, it becomes pertinent to hope and pray for peace. So, as we navigate these uncertain times, a Catholic prayer for peace and justice seems most fitting. O oh God, who is the source of all peace and justice, we beseech you to instill in the hearts of world leaders the desire for peace. May they seek diplomatic resolutions over violent confrontations and prioritize the welfare of their citizens over personal or political gains. We pray for the United Nations and other international organizations to be effective instruments in diffusing tensions and promoting peace. May their efforts lead to a de-escalation of conflicts and the resolution of disputes in a fair and just manner. In your mercy, O Lord, protect the innocent, comfort the afflicted, and guide those in power towards the path of peace and justice. Amen. As we conclude this video, it's important to remember that true peace is not merely the absence of war, but the presence of justice and the respect for human rights. In this volatile world, may wisdom, justice and peace prevail.